The wrong policeman. I was driving in my Ford Explorer down Route 14. It was 11.44 p.m., so I wasn't expecting any other cars. The sides of the roads were surrounded by dark woods. I was going about 65 miles per hour, which was about 10 miles over the speed limit. I was on my way home from an office meeting. It was kind of stupid that the meeting ran so late. I was the only one who could speak to the topic, and my boss was such a pain in the ass. There was nothing on the road that I could see except my own headlights. Just then, I saw flashing red and blue lights shining in my rearview mirror and the sound of a siren. It was a police car. Damn it, I said quietly to myself. I pulled over by the side of the road, and the police car did too. I heard a door open and close. The officer came to my window. He knocked on the glass, and I lowered my window. License and registration, please, he said. I gave him both. Have you been drinking, he asked. No, sir, I said. He gave me the back the license and registration. Get out of the car, he said. Have I done anything wrong, sir? He just stared at me. I was a bit confused, but I still did what he asked. Maybe he was a rookie, because I don't think a skilled cop would have done that. He put some tape on the road and told me to walk in a straight line. I did. After I did, I got a look at the officer's name tag. It said, Zach Cooper. There was something familiar about that name. I remembered from the news a few days ago that an officer had gone missing and was presumed dead. Was Zach Cooper his name? Maybe my face gave me away because he suddenly said, Stay there. I'll be right back. He went into his car and I saw what he was getting. There was a shotgun in the passenger seat. Now I know something was wrong. I bolted into the woods, which was closer than my own car. I would definitely get a bullet in the head if I ran to my car. He didn't notice me running to the woods, but he must have known that is where I went. I ran to the left side of the woods. Hopefully he would think I went to the right. My luck disappeared when he chose the left side. I stayed behind a tree. I heard footsteps crunching leaves. He had a flashlight in one hand and the gun in the other. He shined his flashlight once right on me, but somehow didn't notice. I heard the footsteps become quieter, and then no footsteps at all. He went further into the woods. This is my chance to run to my car. I quickly took a picture of the police car's license plate. After I did, there was something odd about the trunk. It wasn't closed completely. I had the nerve to see what was in there, and what I saw was a body. The face looked just like Zach Cooper. The heart skipped a beat. He was still breathing, but knocked out. I was planning to grab the body out of the car and take it to mine, then to the police station, but it was too late. I heard footsteps coming from the woods. I ran to my car and floored it. I saw the imposter cop through the rearview mirror looking at me. I drove to the police station and showed the picture of the license plate. I told them what I saw. About two months later on TV, it said that a man named Daniel Miser was arrested and that Officer Zach Cooper was in the hospital recovering. I will never forget the look on Daniel Miser's face when I saw the name tag. It still haunts me today.